Hi, my name is David. Today we're going to do number nine, palindrome number. This is an easy level problem on Lead Code. I want to solve it in JavaScript. We have this function that takes an x, x is an integer, and we want to return true or false if this integer is a palindrome. And palindrome means that it reads the same backward as forward. For example, one, two, one is repeated, can be read back and forth, but one, two, three cannot. And usually you may see this problem before as a string, but the catch here is that they don't want us to solve it without converting the integer to a string. So that means we gotta think of, we gotta use the mod 10 idea and divide by 10. So how we're gonna solve this is that first, we know that if it's in these examples is false because if it starts with this negative sign and we put it in front in the back, it's, it's impossible. So we wanna create that condition in the start. Condition if x is negative, we return false. So after that, we want to create a variable, create reversed variable. And that's going to hold the new number that at the end of it, we're going to compare this new number to the x. But to get that, we have to do some code and math. So we're going to have to create a current, create current variable equal to x. So this is the number we're going to manipulate because we're gonna to have to chop it off and look at each digit and this will stay the same. So that's why we have to create a new variable for that. And now we do a while loop for current doesn't equal to zero because inside this while loop, we have to look at each digit. So what we wanna do is that we wanna look at this digit at the end and this digit at the end gets added to the reverse available and gets chopped off from the current. And then we keep doing that until it gets to zero. And on the other hand side, we wanna change the reverse. What we wanna do is to put the reverse is that set reversed equal to reverse times 10 plus current mod 10. Cause we wanna create this mod and then add it. And then at first it starts off at zero. So this part wouldn't do anything. But next one, when we get to two, we added the two in the back. And then we have to signify that there's already a one, one in there. So that one becomes a 10 and 10 plus two is 12. And then when we do it again, it will be a one to one as well. And then once we do that, we divide current by 10, round it down. So eventually we get to zero and then we return if x is equal to current. Great, now x is equal to reverse. All right, so if s is negative, we return false. Now we create the variables, let reversed equals starts off at zero and let current starts off at X. And now we do the while loop while uh, X current does not equal to zero. We return, not really return. We set the reversed equal to reverse times 10 plus current mod 10. And after that, we change the current equals current math dot floor current divided by 10. And so once we go through this loop, we return if x is equal to reverse. Great. Great. So the complexity, the time complexity, we know that we're looping through 
We'll loop in through x. So it's going to be O of n. And then the space complexity. We are creating constant variables here and here. These are integers that we're adding, so it won't take up any more space. So it's going to be O of 1. So that is how we solve this problem. Thank you.